We're so glad you joined us today. I'm Miss Tara. And I'm Miss Elaine. It's so good to get to spend time together learning. But we're just missing our friend who likes to help us dig, dig, dig into God's Word. Do you remember his name? Let's ask the children. That's right. So when we call Hamilton, we don't want to scare him. So let's call him with our gentle voices. On the count of three, let's call him together. One, two, three, Hamilton. Ooh, that was good. Ooh, he hurt us. You guys did a good job calling him <gasps> Hamilton. <gasps> Hi, Hamilton. I'm so glad you joined us today. I love it when you join us. What did you bring with us to you today? Is that a clue? Is that really a nice floaty? Friends, where do you think you could use this? That's right, you could use it in a pool, in a lake, or in the ocean. Today we're going to hear about how Jesus and his friends, when they were on a lake, the weather became really, really stormy. <gasps> Okay, friends, well, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to hear this part of the Big God story. Good job. Before we get started, we need to find the Big God story. Boys and girls, where do you think we find it? That's right. We can find the Big God story in the Bible. God gave us the Bible so we can learn about him. It's full of things that can help us know God. Hamilton. I know you love to dig, dig, dig into God's Word. Are you excited to hear the big God story today? He sure is fantastic. Stand up and let's sing our Bible song together. Now it's time to hear God's Word, hear God's Word, hear God's Word. Now it's time to hear God's Word, so let's look in the Bible. Hi, everyone. My name is Mr. Lucas, and I'm so glad to share a part of God's big story with you today. Boys and girls, do you ever get scared? I do. Today's story is about grown-ups that get scared, because even grown-ups get scared sometimes, you know. Well, the story starts out with a really good thing. It starts out with Jesus. And here he is on a mountain, and he's spending some time praying to his Father. You know who we talk to when we pray? You're right. When we pray, we pray to God, and God is always with us. We can talk to him anytime. Well, Jesus was by himself on the mountain. He sent his friends away in a boat, because they were going to cross the lake. So here they are, out on the boat. You see them here? And there they are. Now you see, it's nighttime now. Do you get scared of the dark? They weren't too scared of the dark, actually. So they were doing okay there. But then the wind started to blow. Can you blow with me? Oh, the boat's starting to go rocking back and forth. And, and all of a sudden it's shaking. And you think they're scared now? Whoa, they really are scared because they they don't know what's going to happen with the wind rocking their boat back and forth. Well, when it was time, Jesus went walking over to meet his friends across the lake. Now, now, wait a minute. How did he get to his friends? Do you see this? He's walking on the water. Whoa, there he is. And when his friends saw him, then they were really, really scared. They thought, who can walk on water? What's going on? Show me your scared face. Ah! Whoa, that's scared. Okay, good. But Jesus said, be brave. It's me. Don't be afraid. Well, when his friends heard this, one friend named Peter, he said, Lord, if it's really you, Come, tell me to come. Tell me to come and meet you on the water. And Jesus said, come, Peter. Well, do you think Peter went swimming to Jesus? Nope, you're right. Did Jesus use his little floaty to, to get to Jesus? No, 
No. Peter walked. Peter walked on the water too. I'll show you. There he is, walking on the water too. Now, when Peter got out there on the water, walking, he looked. Oh, he got scared. Show me a scared face again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw the wind. He saw all the waves, and he started to... He started to sink. He called out to Jesus, Lord, Lord, save me. Do you know what Jesus did? He reached out his arm. He lifted Peter out of the water. And as soon as Jesus and Peter climbed into the boat, the wind stopped. And Jesus' friend said, you really are the son of God. Boys and girls, when Jesus' friends were scared, God was with them. And just like Jesus was with his friends, he's with you. He's with me. He's with us too. We don't need to be afraid. God is with me each day, every day. So let's pray and let's thank God that he's always with me. So wiggle your fingers together. Got him? Okay, good. And close your eyes and smile. Say, Dear Jesus, you are always with me. Even when I'm scared, you help me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You're a great listener today, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Let's practice our memory verse that tells us that God is with us. Let's say it together. Come, follow me, said Jesus. Matthew 4, 19. Let's do it together. Yeah, let's. Come, Come follow, follow me, me, said Jesus. Matthew 4, 19. You're so good at saying that verse. We loved learning together today from God's big story. Today we learned that God is with me. Let's say that together, friends. God, God is, is with me. me. That's such great news. And remember, friends, God loves you so much. And we do too. Bye, Bye. friends.